Testing for COVID-19 up and running at Johns Hopkins, now among the multiple private hospitals stepping in with a test of their own. Doctors Karen Carroll and Heba Mustafa developed the test. I think every hospital that has a laboratory needs to be able to do this testing. Their work helping to alleviate the overload currently being placed on public labs. Um, it has become essential that all the clinical labs uh, offer the testing in-house to be able to meet uh, the need uh, of the increased demand for the test. Um, the public health labs will not be able uh, anymore to cover all the required testing. The results take 24 hours, but they're hoping to reduce that time to as little as three hours. Back in February, the CDC created its own coronavirus test, but later announced it didn't always perform properly, rendering many results inconclusive. Dr. Mustafa says their test wouldn't do that. If we have any inconclusive result, we will have a backup testing. Another advantage to these rapid results? being able to better trace the virus. You really cannot implement your uh, contact tracing if you can't identify people who have the disease. So that's why I feel like the United States really needs to ramp up testing. And we were in that lab earlier today. They completed 20 tests, all of them negative. And that's why they say officials need to be able to complete these tests. And also officials say that if you're feeling any symptoms, to please contact your health advisor to learn more about what those symptoms are, head to WJZ.com. Reporting live from the Johns Hopkins Hospital, I'm Amy Rose Ramos for WJZ.